All the latest Chelsea news and Chelsea transfer news in just a five-minute video with a major development with Philip Coutinho. Stay tuned. Let's get cracking. First up, as featured here in the Daily Mail, an update from UEFA and they have plans to finish the Champions League by squeezing 17 games in 23 days in August, leaving clubs with a potential summer fixture pileup, which is ridiculous. They're looking to play games on Fridays and Saturdays. It's just ridiculous, especially if you're going to try and get the Premier League season finished as well. There are going to be injuries galore, players burn out. It's going to be a complete nightmare. So before we get into the transfer updates, Damien Camoli, the ex-Liverpool and Tottenham sporting director, expects a reduction in summer spending and believes there could only be three teams in the Premier League that will be able to spend money in the summer. He said this, an agent was telling me the other day, there are actually only three clubs in the Premier League that will be able to spend money next summer in the transfer window. I don't know if that's correct, but usually when agents tell you things like that, they usually get intel. We might see very little transfer activity. We might see swaps, we might see loans, and I think we're gonna see a massive decrease in transfer fees and activity, at least transfers involving money. The longer this crisis goes on, more clubs are gonna be in a financially difficult situation. The first thing that will be impacted will be player remuneration, the second thing will be transfer fees. And that's the point I made yesterday regarding more loans being arranged because clubs can't be seen to spend loads and loads of money this summer when the, the whole world is recovering from this pandemic. So to transfer news and as expected, featured the other day on my channel, Jorginho wanted by Juventus and Maurizio Sarri. They had a choice, believe it or not, according to this report, they've got a choice between Conte and Jorginho as to who they want to go for. Sarri wants Jorginho, which for me is great news. I'd rather keep Conte if I've got to lose one of them. But it looks as though he wants to move for the 28-year-old star and it's going to take them big money to get the deal done. And to try and lower the transfer fee, they want to offer Federico Bernareschi in exchange, the winger who's failed to cut it since his move to Juve from Fiorentina. No thank you. If you want Jorginho, you've got to pay the big money. Then again, can you afford to do so in this financial situation? What do you think? Do you think Jorginho will go to join Sarri back in Italy or would he stay if given the opportunity? An update on yesterday's news that Alex Tellez is in talks or advanced negotiations with PSG. Chelsea turn their attention to Ben Chilwell, as expected, and Chelsea are looking to try and get that deal done as their number one left-back target this summer. Here's an interesting article featuring two players that are in the news on almost a daily basis, Olivier Giroud and Dries Mertens. It looks as though Inter Milan have got to make a choice between the two, Mertens or Giroud, and it's believed that they could be swayed towards Dries Mertens on a free transfer. This has been printed in Gazeta dello Sport, featured on this website, Sempre Inter. And I wonder if Dries Mertens is going to put the kibosh, a spanner, in the works to Olivier Giroud's dreams of joining Antonio Conte and Inter. Would you still keep Giroud at Chelsea next season? Let me know in the comments section below. So to the big news that's developing during the course of today, Philip Coutinho, a very close to sealing a move to Chelsea. Chelsea believe that they can get Coutinho done on a cheaper deal from Barcelona because they know, after comments made by Kike set in yesterday, that Barcelona need the money. So if Chelsea can pay, and maybe a reduced fee, around about 70 to 80 million for Coutinho, Barcelona can use that money for Latoro Martinez from Inter, the Argentine striker. It's unclear the situation with the deal though, whether it will be a purchase by Chelsea or a loan first followed by a purchase next summer. The reports come from the Catalan publication Sport and they claim that Chelsea have provided Philippe Coutinho with the most realistic and most promising and exciting option for him to come and play back in the Premier League next season. What do you think of a potential move which is looking like it's beginning to grow legs? Coutinho at Chelsea, the second big transfer this summer following Hakim Ziyech. How would you feel about Coutinho signing for Chelsea and what do you think he could bring to Chelsea? Let me know in the comments section below. With all the transfer news and speculation going around, I put together a video last night which you can see linked here next to me, just trying to break down making sense of all the rumours. So make sure you check that out. 
please like the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and post your comments in the comment section below thanks for watching see you next time